sorry about this poor quality. Um, yeah, I had just made a video a few days ago about some of the disgusting things that are taking place. Um, I'm going to pause that thing. I don't really want to even uh, tell people about that, to scare people. There's enough to be scared about today in today's world, you know. And uh, I said, you know, get out of the system, you know, and leave it, you know. Uh, you just become like Jesus, foxes of holes, birds of the air, the son of man of nowhere lay his head. But it's it's not very easy to be uh, traveling from place to place. It's very it's difficult. It's difficult to find a place that has quietness. It's difficult to find a place where they don't where they allow you to do that. You know. So if you have a place, uh, you know, off the grid kind of thing, it, it'd be a good thing because when we read in Revelation, and see, people, some people say, well, this may not even be in our lifetime, but I kind of think it's it's coming pretty quickly now. You know. That's my feeling. But, um, see, it says, uh, in chapter 13 of Revelation, verse 16, it says, and he causeth, well, let's take a look, this is talk, talking about the two headed uh, beast, the beast with the two horns that looks like a lamb, but he spake as a dragon. In verse 11, and it says, and, and he exercised all the power. Of the first beast before him. That's the new world order, you know. And causes the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Well, who has the power today in the, in the, in the world? The, the United States has more military power than, even than the second, I think, is Russia, I think. But the United States has something like seven times more military power than even Russia. You see, he said, he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. Mm, sounds like uh, nuclear weapons. And he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had the power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he gave power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, and that no man might buy or sell, save he had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Mm. So any, for the first thing you see is that, that he wants all those that don't worship the beast are going to be killed. And then it shows how this, this, this uh, new economic system would take place where you have to have a, uh, a mark of the beast that, that shows that you are a worshiper of the beast if you want to buy or sell. And we see how the, that, that's not very far away, is it, really? We can feel that coming right now with the... Um, this uh, obedience to the uh, political correctness and all that stuff, you know. So if you're off the grid, you don't have to pay for electric. You don't have to pay for your sewer and water. And therefore, you know, it's uh, many people have been preparing for this and they have food stored up or whatever and they think that um, if they have, uh, they can sustain themselves, they're going to be okay. It's a good plan, you know. But the, the thing is, if, 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 with the technology and everything, if they, where they, and they know where they can know where you are, and they go, they want to file on everybody. They might be able to find you, you know. So Jesus says, many of you they should be, shall be, or some of you they shall put to death, you know. So anyway, what I'm saying is that homelessness is not a, a good thing position to be in right now. If you can have a place. Um, away from it all, you know, uh, to hide, so to speak, or to, to, you know, from the from the from the beast, from the image of the beast that wants to kill you, then that's the thing to to think about. You know, that God tells us to to uh, you know hide ourselves until His denunciation be passed. Um, 
especially if you have a wife, you have to think of her, you know, take care of her, you know, have a place for her, at least try your best, you know, because they're, they're sensitive, they'll, they need, they like to feel secure, you know, and, um, so anyway, yeah, that's, that's what I want to say, but, but if you have to travel, you know, you just have to do, uh, um, uh, don't go to places where you know they're going to kill you. Don't go to places where they, you know that they're going to persecute you and make try to make life miserable for you or torture or kill you slowly. You know, there was even Jesus, when the Jews, the Jews decided they wanted to kill him way before they did kill him. Like it was the, the Feast of Tabernacles. Uh, they, they had tried to kill him before that. And that's like the seventh month of the year, you know. The 15th day, they begin the Feast of the Tabernacles. And um, uh, he wasn't gonna. He didn't. He didn't go into Judea uh, anymore because they were seeking to kill him. And his disciples said, "Hey, listen. Why don't you go into the to the Feast of Tabernacles?" Uh, Jesus said, "Hey, my time is not yet. You know." He knew that they would kill him. He says, "You go into the feast. I go not up onto the feast yet. You know." So he later on, he went up secretly, you know, and he just started teaching in the temple, like really strong, you know, I am the light of the world. He that, well, he that uh, follows me will not be in darkness, but will have the light of life. You know, he's proclaiming it really strong. And uh, the Jews were saying, wow, this is the man that they're seeking to kill. They're just letting him alone. You know, and they were having to... Uh, uh, debates, you know, well, you know, the, uh, but the, the word of God says that the, the, that the, uh, uh, the Messiah would be come out of Bethlehem, but he's out of Galilee, you know, so they were disputing among themselves, you know, and, um, uh, Jesus finally couldn't, couldn't walk around, around among those Jews in, in, around that area anymore, so he went to a little town and lived there for a while, uh, Ephraim, I think it is, or Ephria. And, um, but when, when the uh, Passover was coming around, see, then he went back into, uh, uh, Jerusalem and began teaching again. And they, and they, and the Jews says, you know, if any man know, if any man see him, tell us, you know, cause we're, we want to get, we want to kill him. But he began again, you know, he even went into the temple and everything and cleaned it out. So, you know, people were astonished why, you know, they're letting him alone and everything, you know. And of course, uh, that's why Judas offered his services, you know, because they didn't want to uh, take him during the day unless there would be an uproar in the temple, you know. And so, um, yeah, you have to be wise, always be wise, you know. <coughs> Pardon me. And, um, you know, the Holy Spirit will tell you, you know. I mean, Paul, for instance, Paul, uh, all the all the and, and and the disciples were warning Paul. They said, "Listen the, to the man who owns this this uh, belt or whatever it was." He says, uh, "He's going to be bound in chains if he goes to Jerusalem." And Paul says, "I'm not afraid." I says, I'll, "I'm I'm willing to die for the Lord Jesus Christ." You know, so he went right into Jerusalem too. But the Holy Spirit told him what was going to happen, and Jesus knew what was going to happen also. You know, so. Um, uh, but it was not time for him, so that's why he retreated, you know. Not that God's angels couldn't protect him, and they did protect him. You know, it said no man could lay hold on him because his hour had not yet come. But still he wasn't putting God to the test, you know. Like when the, the devil told him to hurl yourself off the temple, you know, God will give his charge and his angels a charge that they will protect you and your your foot will not dash against the stone, you know. And Jesus says, you should not put your Lord God, to, uh, Jehovah God, to the test, you know. So it's the same way. You got to be wise as a serpent and not uh, uh, knowing when the, the time is that God wants you to to go in, you know, and um, to do His work. But don't just put yourself there where they're going to hurt you. Don't let yourself do that, I don't want to, uh, you know, tell anybody that, you know, there may come a time when you're going to have to travel, you're going to have to flee, and, and you may not have any home to go to, uh, you know, and then um, pray, you know, pray that God protect you, you know, 
And I don't want to put anybody in harm's way, no. And I was speaking about when I was younger. Well, I knew that the, the end wasn't yet. You, know, you could feel that. And when I was younger, I had, I had uh, um, there was space, you know, to do that. But things are even worse now. Things were bad back then, really bad. And there was not uh, a whole lot of Christians. But there were some people that had faith, you know. But it's even worse now, you know, these people that go around with these loud cars, you know, sometimes I, all night long it goes on. Like last night, I couldn't hardly get any sleep. But this is how it goes, you know, and um, it seems like when I park at a place for a few nights, I have quietness. And then, and then it just starts, you know, all the time. And I just got to keep moving, you know. So anyway, uh, I just pray for you all, you know, all that are, that are in Jesus Christ, you know. You, 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 you don't, you don't miss that opportunity that God gives you to protect you, keep you away, you know. I, I'm, I'm stupid sometimes, you know, because I, I, I think, well, no, I want to go right into the trouble, you know. But sometimes I miss the opportunity that God has given me to, to uh, hide away, you know. Because, because, um, you know, you can cause God a lot of worry and things. He, he worries about his people. So um, sometimes he wants to provide a way for you to escape and to live a quiet life for a while, you know, and take that opportunity. I, I'm stupid because I sometimes I miss that opportunity and I blame myself for it because I read, oh, God was giving me something and I didn't take advantage of it, you know. So take advantage of the, his opportunities that he gives you and, uh, and uh, you know, Everyone, everyone's different, so you, so do what he has given you to do. But if you're wicked, you're not going to escape him. You're not going to escape the uh, God ever, you know. So, but um, yeah, I just wanted to clarify that, and I'm going to put a pause on that video because it's kind of, it's really terrible and disgusting things that they do. I don't, it's, 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 it's so, like I say, there's enough things to be scared about. So I'm going to put a halt on that. And um, uh, I just pray for you all. Pray for that you have peace, you know, that you find peace. So um, that's about it. Take care and God bless you all.